Sunday, April 7, 2019 6 a.m. 55 degrees Fahrenheit 9 a.m. 53 degrees Fahrenheit 5-day forecast Mark Jacobs, 55, and Char de Francesco, 37, say, I do, in style as they get married in NYC in front of celebrity guests including Bella and Gigi Hadid, Emily Ratajkowski and Naomi Campbell mystery as missing Mouseketeer Dennis Day, 76, is found dead at home, eight months after he vanished and his disappearance initially went unreported because the star's husband has dementia Tom Cruise's children have become rock stars in the world of Scientology, following in the footsteps of the church's most famous member Trump says he is out of patience with the fraudulent Russian witch hunt and demands the perpetrators face justice for their treasonous acts while well, she's dead and he's president who won that one, Roger Stone shares nasty Instagram post about the late Barbara Bush in defense of Trump's attack on the former first lady, I'm a hugger, I'm a kisser. And I'm a little bit of a sniffer, SNL gently tickles Biden's creepy Uncle Joe, scandal with Iraq as Jason Sudeikis undergoing sensitivity, training to hilarious effect Spice Girls, world tour abandoned, in the wake of Jerry Horner and Melby lesbian fling bombshell, it was all a dream, SNL imagines Theresa May kissing Winston Churchill played by Game of Thrones Kit Harrington and saving the UK from a looming Brexit disaster with a mournful and sad musical sketch family of disgraced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes' fiancé, say he's been brainwashed by her the couple plan to go through with wedding, despite the fact she's facing 20 years in prison. For defrauding investors quit saying sorry and don't be resistant to change, careers experts reveal the five personality traits that are holding you back at work. Ex-U.S. Senator Ernest Fritz, Hollings of South Carolina dies at 97. Ilhan Omar asks God to forgive Donald in a late-night tweet after he mocks her during his Republican Jewish coalition speech one day after she received death threats. Trump labels the Russia probe a big hoax and says the Democrats have done a lousy job, as he claims he has still not read the Mueller report even though he has every right to do so. Donald Donald Trump blasts Mexico for making the U.S. Deploy 750 extra border agents to deal with the large-scale surge of illegal immigrants trying to enter the country Michael Avenatti claims Nike tried to bribe payers from Duke and other top current and former NCAA players, despite being charged with trying to extort $25 million from the clothing giant I am from the Bronx. Mick Jagger's brother says Rolling Stone's front man could have died if doctors hadn't discovered his heart condition during a routine checkup. NYC welcomes the 150-year-old heart of a French priest that has never decomposed as part of the Roman Catholic Relics Tour of America Florida teacher who showed students sexually suggestive pictures of nude male and female models is facing a three-day suspension after her class complained Brett the hitman heart is okay after the former wrestler was tackled by a spectator heart was giving a speech at a Hall of Fame ceremony on behalf of his late friend the fan was able to jump the barriers, rush the ring and wrestle Hart to the floor Hart was uninjured the fan was arrested after security subdued him with force by Associated Press published, 2.06 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 7th of April 2019, updated, 2.06 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 7th of April 2019 This is the shocking moment Brett the Hitman Hart was tackled to the floor by a spectator while he was giving a speech during the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony. Hart, who was being inducted for the second time, this time as part of the tag team The Hart Foundation along with the late Jim, the Anvil, Neidhart, was standing at the podium alongside Neidhart's daughter when a fan charged him. The man was promptly subdued by several people who came to Hart's defense on Saturday night and taken into custody by police at the Barclays Center. Brett the Hitman Hart, who was being inducted for the second time, this time as part of the tag team The Hart Foundation along with the late Jim, the Anvil, Neidhart, was standing at the podium alongside Neidhart's daughter when a fan charged him not part of the show, Hart, who was being inducted for the second time, this time as part of the tag team The Hart Foundation along with the late Jim, the Anvil, Neidhart, was standing at the podium alongside Neidhart's daughter when a fan charged him the man was promptly subdued by several people who came to Hart's defense on Saturday night and taken into custody by police at the Barclays Center Hall of Fame wrestler Brett the Hitman Hart during his prime in 1994 a law enforcement official said a 26-year-old man was in custody and facing criminal charges, the official was not authorized to discuss to the case and spoke on condition of anonymity. Several shocked onlookers posted footage of the incident online.
the induction event resumed after the fan was taken into custody, an over-exuberant fan surpassed our security at ringside and made his way briefly into the ring, WWE later said in a statement, the individual has been turned over to the proper authorities, after the individual was arrested, Hart, 61, finished his speech off and appeared to be uninjured. Bret Hart's brother Owen Hart, a fellow wrestler, died in 1999 after a stunt went wrong and he plunged 78 feet to his death during a pay-per-view event in Kansas, advertisement female today.